In the heart of the vast azure ocean lay a hidden island known only to the whispering winds and the dancing waves. This island, teeming with lush greenery and vibrant wildlife, was called Pineapple Isle. The island was named for its seemingly endless fields of pineapples, which grew wild and free across the rolling hills and valleys. At the center of the island stood a magnificent palace made entirely of coral and seashells, shimmering in the sunlight. This was the home of Princess Leela, the beloved daughter of King Kai and Queen Alana. Known affectionately as the Pineapple Princess, Leela had a heart as golden as the fruit that surrounded her. Princess Leela was unlike any other princess. She had a wild mane of curly hair that cascaded down her back and eyes as bright as the morning sun. Though she loved her home and her people dearly, she longed for adventure beyond the shores of Pineapple Isle. She dreamed of exploring new lands and meeting new people, discovering the world beyond the horizon. Chapter 2 the mysterious messenger on sunny afternoon, as Leela strolled through the pineapple fields, she stumbled upon something curious. Nestled among the leaves was a message in a bottle, its glass glinting in the sunlight. With a mix of excitement and intrigue, she picked it up and carefully removed the cork. The message inside was written on a piece of parchment, faded but still legible, to whomever finds this message, a great treasure lies hidden beyond the island. Seek the crystal cavern beneath the sea of stars. Follow the path where the moon meets the tides. Leela's heart raced with excitement. A treasure, the idea of an adventure was irresistible. She raced back to the palace, clutching the bottle, her mind set on unraveling the mystery. Chapter 3. The journey begins next morning. Leela stood at the edge of the island her small sailboat ready for the journey ahead. Her parents, though concerned, understood her adventurous spirit and gave their blessings. King Kai handed her a pendant shaped like a pineapple, a family heirloom said to bring protection and guidance. Be safe, my daughter, Queen Alana said, embracing her tightly. Remember, the island and its people will always be here for you, with a determined heart, and the pendant hanging around her neck. Leela set sail towards the horizon. The ocean breeze filled the sails, and the boat glided smoothly over the waves. As the island faded from view, Leela felt a mix of excitement and anticipation. Chapter 4 The Sea of Stars days passed, and Leela sailed under the vast sky. One night, as she gazed at the stars above, she noticed something extraordinary. The sea around her seemed to mirror the sky, glowing with a brilliant light. It was the Sea of Stars, a rare and magical phenomenon she had only heard of in stories. In awe, Leela watched as the water sparkled like a blanket of diamonds. She remembered the message's words, follow the path where the moon meets the tides, the moon hung low in the sky, casting a silvery path on the water. Trusting her instincts, she steered the boat along the moonlit path, hoping it would lead her to the crystal cavern. Chapter 5 The Guardian of the Cavernous Dawn Broke Leela spotted a distant island, its cliffs rising majestically from the sea. She navigated the boat towards it, her heart pounding with anticipation. Upon reaching the shore, she found a hidden entrance to a cave, partially concealed by overgrown vines. Taking a deep breath, Leela stepped inside the cavern. The air was cool and damp, and the sound of dripping water echoed around her. As she ventured deeper, she was stopped by a voice that seemed to come from the very walls. Who enters the crystal cavern? The voice rumbled. Startled, Leela looked around, her eyes falling on a magnificent creature emerging from the shadows. It was a giant turtle its shell encrusted with glimmering crystals that reflected the light like a kaleidoscope. I am Princess Leela of Pineapple Isle, she replied, trying to keep her voice steady. I seek the treasure hidden within this cavern. The turtle's eyes, wise and ancient, studied her for a moment. To claim the treasure, 
You must prove your worthiness by passing a test of character, it said. Leela nodded, ready to face whatever challenge lay ahead. Ed. The turtle led Leela deeper into the cavern until they reached a chamber filled with dazzling crystal formations. In the center stood three pedestals, each holding a different object, a golden crown, a shimmering sword, and a simple wooden staff. You must choose the item that best represents true strength and wisdom, the turtle instructed. Leela pondered each option. The crown was beautiful and regal, symbolizing power. The sword was sharp and strong, a symbol of bravery. But it was the wooden staff that drew her in humble and unassuming, yet full of potential. With confidence, she reached for the staff, feeling its smooth surface in her hand. I choose the staff, she declared. The turtle nodded approvingly. True strength lies not in might or wealth, but in humility and wisdom, it said. You have chosen wisely, Chapter 7. The treasure unveiled as Leela held the staff. The cavern transformed around her. The crystals glowed brighter, illuminating a hidden chamber that lay beyond. Inside, she found a treasure unlike any she had imagined a library filled with ancient books and scrolls, each containing the wisdom of generations past. This is the true treasure of the crystal cavern, the turtle explained. Knowledge and understanding are the greatest riches one can possess. Leela felt a deep sense of gratitude and enlightenment. She spent hours exploring the library, eager to learn from the wisdom it held. As she absorbed the stories and lessons of the past, she realized her journey had only just begun. Chapter 8 Returning home with newfound knowledge and understanding, Leela thanked the Turtle Guardian and made her way back to her boat. The journey home was filled with a sense of fulfillment and purpose. She knew that the true treasure she had found was not just for herself, but for the people of Pineapple Isle. As she sailed back to her island, she thought about how she could use her newfound wisdom to help her people and protect the natural beauty of her homeland. She envisioned creating schools and libraries, sharing the stories and knowledge she had discovered with everyone. Chapter 9, A New Beginning Goop and Her Return Leela was greeted with open arms and joyful celebration. She shared her story with her family and the people of Pineapple Isle, inspiring them with tales of her adventure and the lessons she had learned. Together, they worked to build a library in the heart of the island, a place where people could gather to learn and share knowledge. It became a beacon of enlightenment and a testament to the power of wisdom and understanding. Princess Leela, the pineapple princess, had discovered that the greatest treasure of all was not found in gold or jewels, but in the strength of character and the wisdom to use it for the greater good. Epilogue, the legacy of the pineapple princess years past, and the island flourished under Leela's guidance. The library became a center of learning, attracting scholars and adventurers from across the seas. The islanders embraced their identity as stewards of knowledge, protecting their land and sharing their stories with the world. Princess Leela's legacy lived on, her adventurous spirit and dedication to wisdom inspiring generations to come. She had proven that true strength and leadership come from understanding, humility, and the courage to seek new horizons. And so, the tale of the Pineapple Princess became legend a story of adventure, discovery, and the transformative power of knowledge. It was a story passed down through the ages, reminding all who heard it that the greatest treasures are those that enrich the mind and soul.